to our 24th diesel truck giveaway where we're giving you the chance to win this 9673 Power Stroke plus $5,000 cash. And for the first week, every $1 is going to be 20 entries towards winning this truck plus five grand. So if you haven't done so yet, head on over to lmpgear.com, buy anything on the store, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. Good luck. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. Quick, quick plug on the brand while we get started here. If you want to enter to win this 1996 Ford F-250 73 Power Stroke plus $5,000 of cash, all you got to do is go to lmpgear.com. You can buy a sweet real tree leather patch hat like this. You could buy a long sleeve shirt. You could buy a hoodie, a t-shirt, a sticker, a decal, a koozie, coffee mugs, cups, tumble, I mean, backpacks, shop coveralls that are freaking fireproof. I mean, we've got all kinds of super cool stuff and apparel on the store. Definitely go check it out. Buy something you really like. You're automatically entered to win this truck every $1, 20 entries right now, but that deal is ending on May 20th, which I believe is in like two days. So get in while you can anyways. Oh, wow, I'm bleeding. Oh, oh, nice. We may or may not go hang out with Jeshua and help him finish up his truck after pulling that P-Pump to do a tappet cover on that truck. Who knows what could happen with that? Uh, we're just hoping that the timing's still good and everything went back together the way that it's supposed to. We did a lot of reinstalling everything that night with him. I didn't get on video, but he didn't have that much more to do and then he was gonna be attempting to start it up. On another note, guys, we do have a winner for the Dually and this has already been announced on our Instagram by the time you see this. It's already been on our Facebook and Instagram pages. I'm going to announce it on here for those of you who have not heard. Billy from Kansas won the Dually giveaway and I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I don't want to butcher it from kansas that's a that's a first we haven't had any kansas winners so this is uh this is cool you know there's not a lot in kansas which is probably why we don't have too many winners from like that general area there's not much going on there but if you like corn it's a great place it is an awesome place if you like corn and not many people kansas is the place to be or just giant bucks you know stuff of that nature but um yeah congratulations man can't wait to speak with you and cannot wait to hand over the keys to your new truck man i'm telling you fam you gotta be hard pressed to find an obs 7.3 cleaner than this one it don't get much better i gotta turn this thing on is it a park yes sir Okay, go for it. That's all you can do. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Just give it a sec, let your starter cool down for a sec. Give her some starting fluid! Even when you do injectors, if you take all the lines completely off, I mean, it'll take a little bit to get fuel through. Especially with what all you did. Crank for like 15 second intervals and then stop for a minute, okay? I mean, every single fuel line has Dude, no... I hate this stool. And the oil causing it to slip so much. Give it another try just in case it makes a difference. I'll... <laughs> Got fuel coming. You, dude, it's a process. You'll get one, then you'll get two, then you get three, and then they'll all just start squirting fuel. It won't fully fire until they're all getting fuel. second this your starter can have a breather because your starter was a little bit warm after that other time I felt it when I plunged more fuel up now watch my hand signals if I do that then stop so update on Jeshua's truck he did get the tappet cover put on intakes on throttle linkages on he's pumping more fuel through the lines to try to assist with it so he doesn't have to completely burn up the starter um, just starting to check for fuel as it comes out and close the lines up. We've only got the first cylinder that's closed because it had fuel actually shooting out. The other three here are starting to bubble, but the batteries are pretty much pretty much at a point where they've got all they can give right now. So um, that's the process right now though, just trying to make sure it lives. I know. <laughs> Lots of fuel! <laughs> She's living! Slow 
You should be good to go. All right, let's let it rip. Are you impressed or at least satisfied? Yeah. Doesn't seem to be any oil leaking. I don't see any. And it starts up like That's right true. now. That's true. I don't think they well, they heard a start up once we were done doing the injectors, but Does sound like it's running a little smoother. Maybe it's because your push rods are actually getting oil. Maybe. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'll still buckle. Oh, all right, I'll <laughs> buckle <it> anyways. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. If that was a cop, shoot dang, who dusted him? Yeah. <laughs> he might have pulled you over just for that. <laughs> Probably joking in his car right now. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend, I rolled coal in front of her, you know, I thought maybe she'd think it was hot or something. She was so pissed. She was like, <laughs> we got back to the house, she was so mad, like, I couldn't breathe in my car because you were rolling coal in front of me. I was like, well, I thought you'd think it's sexy. <laughs> and then she left me. It wasn't, well, uh, yeah, that wasn't, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I feel, uh, you can feel how it's, Let's get this old Alice Chalmers fired up here. One of the last good tractors left on the planet, right? There you go. So what year is this thing? This tractor is about a 50, 54 or somewhere. So it's in its prime is what he's saying. Ooh, maybe he does know what he's talking about. What is the on that? I trust your judgment. <laughs> you know what they say about Alice Chalmers, right? Uh, some people don't repeat it. Don't tell anybody what. <laughs> we didn't turn the key on. <laughs> Here we are cracking on Alice Chalmers. Well, I am. And he's like, wait, please don't tell me you didn't turn the key on. <laughs> We're out here trying to start this thing for like the last two hours. <laughs> Been sitting all winter though. You wanna try it again? Yeah, you want to try I'm not gonna lie, I had my doubts. I wasn't sure it was gonna start, honestly. And then I also wasn't sure that the uh, bush hog was gonna work, but it works. And I don't know how many of you guys remember, but that's the truck I bought my grandpa 
almost four years ago now. Back when I first started making some good money, the first thing I did after my first giveaway was I went and bought my grandpa a, a truck because it was, was having some transmission issues. So that was the first thing on my list and still running. Chalmers. <laughs> They're smarter than the guys that are trying to start them. Oh man, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. But you like it running again though. Oh yeah. Got yeah. whole kinds of mowing done. Yeah, embarrassed both of us trying to start and we spent what a couple hours? Well, on probably it? an hour and a half the first time we were out here and probably only about 45 minutes the second time. But I was like, it's been about two hours now and you're like, did you turn the key? <laughs> I said, does that make a difference? He said, yes. And then we turned the key and it fired up one pole. Remember the bed. Oh yeah, yeah, we did. Tucked in for the night. We actually leveled out the bush hog too. I wasn't really positive on how that worked, but there's actually a crank on the back. I don't see any like that anymore, but there's a crank on the back and you can just level it out. And I like the style of this one because it's just a draw bar one where you just drop the pin. And wherever the tractor goes, the bush hog snakes behind it versus your typical one that's on a three point. And then whenever you like make a turn, it swings around and just hits whatever, you know. Overall, happy with it? Excellent happiness. Yes, yes. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. That's gonna be it for this one. Hopefully guys enjoyed the video and uh, we will catch you guys in the next one. And it's not for sale, the analyst chamber is not for sale. I he won't sell it to me. I just, I don't understand. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.